Hi, this is Amita from BizAsialive.com and I am, for the second time in one year, standing with Raghav. Hi Raghav, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. And we are obviously at the London Mellor at South Park. And you have come in just to appear on stage here, have you not? I have, you know, this is, uh, this, uh, obviously England, but this city in particular, I mean, this is where everything started for me, this is where I lived for years in almost squalor before I put out my first record and had some success, so for me, as much as I live back in Canada, this still feels like home, so when they asked me, and the London Mail in particular, I think is like maybe the biggest celebration of our culture in the UK every year, so... When they ask me every couple of years to come out and do it, I'm like, absolutely. So it's great to be here. It's great to have you here. Now I hear that you are going to be singing some of your classics on stage, is that right? Yeah, so I mean the funny thing is that I've put out so many records over the last 10 years, but that first record still means a lot, especially to the folks over here in, in Europe and, and the UK. And uh, so when I come here, I make sure I do all the old hits, maybe sneak in a new record, but I remember as a kid going to watch artists perform and saying, as much as I love your new material, I want to hear the records that stuck with me during those days, you know, and uh, we're doing all of those. Absolutely. So obviously, you've, as you've mentioned, the London Mellor is kind of central to everything. <laughs> I suppose Bobby Fiction put the centre of the world at the moment. Yeah. Um, how do you think it kind of, for someone like you, who's an artist who knows that you have so many loving fans in London, how does it feel coming all that way to perform for those kind of fans? It's, it's incredible, like, you know, 15 years ago is when my first record came out. So I'd say 15 and a half years ago, if you told me that a decade and a half later, I'd still be headlining at the biggest South Asian festival, maybe in the world, I'd, I'd have told you you're crazy. So this, my life has been unbelievable, and my life has been unbelievable, and the life of my family has been so wonderful because of the folks of England. And they've changed my life, and, you know, uh, life takes twists and turns, and I have to kind of be in Canada. Uh, to be close to my family, um, but musically, I've never really felt like I belong there. Even in India, as much as I had success there, I never felt like I fully 100% belong there. The only really place I felt in my life that I really belonged as an artist was here, so any moment I get to be back here, I love it. Fair enough. So, um, last time I spoke to you, um, actually, was when your single, My Rebels, were released. Yeah, I remember, in the hotel. Yes, we yeah. did. Um, so, what's happened since then? So, I'm doing another track with Gio Sada, called Sufi, that's coming out next month. Uh, but something that's been really cool is like, you know, I think for years people thought that, you know, uh, I was to one side and Rishi Rich was to one side and we never really worked together. This year we, we sort of expanded our friendship from just meeting at events to getting in the studio and working together and we started something I think is pretty cool. Oh wow. So we'll, you know, we'll be doing our first record together after 15, 16 years of knowing each other and um, I'm excited about that. And it, it's sort of a nostalgic sound back to the sound of my first album. But, like also distinctly very rishy and distinctly modern. I can't wait to my lips. Thank you. I am a very big admirer of both of you. Now, apart from that, obviously, I think when we spoke, you said that there was not an album worth. Has that changed? I mean, look, there's an album worth of material. I'm just, you know, something's happened to me when I look at the music industry that you go, it's hard now to, you know, the saying is that uh, you can't see the label when you're in the jar. And I don't know how it. I don't know anymore if people are craving an album. I'd love to make one. For me, there's, there's no greater artistic journey than making a bunch of records that make up an album. But I also don't want to be antiquated about it. What I do need to do is, and what my plan is to do this year, is to start putting out more material, and it's going to be all over the place. You know, when you when you have uh, like your first album sold almost a million and a half records, then you go into, oh, how do I keep in the industry? How do I stay? Who am I? It, you know, the head of A and R is telling you one thing. Life becomes a lot more confusing. I think only now have I started to get confidence and clarity that I'm just going to be exactly who I want to be. It's what got me there in the first place. And, and make the records that I want to make and, and be confident about them. So I think you'll see a lot more of that. We look forward to that very much, so. I'm going to round it up there. Well, it's been really nice um, talking to you and we look forward to you being on stage soon. I appreciate it. I hope, I hope you guys enjoy the show. We will do. And this is Amrita from BizAsialife.com with Raghav Sanyal. Thank you.